the Hospice of Windsor and Essex County. We're a culture of compassion and we try to create a, a calmness uh, or as we say, an oasis of peace at hospice. It takes many of us coming to the table. We have a team of physicians, nurses, social workers, pastoral care, and a virtual army of volunteers. It's a very home-like setting. They're not there a day before you can hear the laughter and, and people relaxing because the families don't have to be caregivers anymore. They can come and uh, just sit with mom or dad and enjoy them for however long they're going to be there. Windsor and Essex County is such a wonderful place to live and uh, to be a, a pillar in a community, you know, when you think about what a pillar is, it, it holds a building up or something up. This community helps us to raise about 50% of our budget. So we feel they lift us up and uh, for them to acknowledge us in this way, it's just an honor to be recognized. Multicultural Council of Windsor and Essex County. The Multicultural Council has been around since 1973 and it has had a real impact on our community. It does so many different types of programs from cultural competency training to language and translation interpretation as well as delivering settlement and integration programs for newcomers, ensuring that they understand our community and that they have the ability to integrate very successfully into our community. We work with our uh, community partners to ensure that we provide the most appropriate care of service to the community at large. It's been a really a historical moment last year with the Syrian influx of uh, newcomers to our community. As a lead agency, we were able to mobilize the community at large, and it was wonderful to see the city come together. Everyone seemed to want to get involved, and it was just an amazing experience to see so many people just stepping up and saying, what can we do, how can we help? And that's what we create, I think, as the outcome of the Multicultural Council and the impact, is to create that inclusive and welcoming community for all. Transition to Betterness. Transition to Betterness is a charity celebrating our 20th year. It started with two dynamic leaders in our community, Doris Lapico and Tanya Sorge. And they were dealing with something in their own family and they saw what the rooms look like and they decided to take action. And from that very moment, T2B was born. It's all about providing comfort for patients and their families that are dealing with life-altering illnesses. We have over 17 programs that we run, from the Comfort Blanket Program, which is these great uh, fleece blankets that we give to patients, and it's for, it's for them to keep, and it keeps them cozy, from our Comfort Cart Program that goes around daily and provides fresh fruit, frozen yogurt, juices, it's the concierge program where we are stationed right there for anything that they need. So it's just those little comforts that make a really big impact for someone battling a life-altering illness. It's humbling, you know, the work that we do. It's not just me, it's not Doris and Tanya, it's the 200 volunteers we have, it's our board, it's all of our donors and our supporters. To have that little recognition for them means a heck of a lot and truly we're just humbled.